Hey everybody, so in this video we will create VPC using uh, Terraform uh, and in my last video I created EC2 instance using Terraform so if you not watch that video, link is in the description go and check that out and uh, I will also uh, add Terraform playlist link in the description so if you are a fresh learner you should watch that uh, playlist so let's get started with uh, today's topic so the topic of uh, today's video is uh, how to create VPC using Terraform and uh, these all the resources that we will create in this video so let's get started so uh, in this video we will create VPC using Terraform and uh, we will create these uh, resources uh, VPC subnet internet gateway security group subnet association route table and uh, EC2 so let's get started uh, and uh, first we will see what is the VPC in AWS and uh, VPC stands for virtual private cloud it's a logically isolated section of the Amazon Web Services cloud where you can launch and manage resources like uh, compute instant databases and uh, storage. VPC enables you to define your own network environment including IP address ranges, subnet, route table and security group. This helps you to control a network accesses, isolated applications and build source and scalable architectures within the AWS cloud. So here I am in my Visual Studio Code and uh, you can see our last uh, EC2 instant uh, resource is already here and uh, today we will add some new resources like I told you as in the start of this video so move to the topic and uh, I will provide all the links in the description so you can just open those links and uh, copy all the resources uh, according to your project so these are all the resources that we will use in this video we will start with the AWS VPC and uh, this is the example for VPC so what I will do I will just copy this resource and uh, here I will first add a comment okay and now we will paste that uh, resource and uh, this is for uh, VPC so this is the value and this is the name of a uh, VPC so we will just change this name so I will call uh, this as a uh, demo VPC now we will We'll add comment now we will add our second resource which is uh, subnet so as i told you i will provide all the links in the description so you can uh, uh, use uh, these resources as uh, as per your project requirement so i will use this uh, basic uh, example and uh, let me just copy this and uh, here we will provide name like a demo subnet and in the vpc ID we will grab this VPC ID and uh, this is the name and this is the value of the VPC we will just copy this and uh, we will paste here remove uh, those uh, inverted commas and uh, here we will add dot so in this uh, CIDR block we will use a uh, 10 series so I will just remove this and uh, add 10 and I will also change this name now we will move to the third uh, resource which is uh, in internet gateway so this is the example that we will use and uh, we will change this according to our project so just copy this so this is the resource and uh, this is the resource name so we will change this uh, resource name according to we will change the we will change the name of the internet gateway so i will call this as the uh, demo iw which is uh, internet gateway and uh, and in the in the vpc section we will change this with the uh, are created VPC in the tag section we will also change the name as we provided in uh, resource now we will move to our next resource which is uh, route table and uh, here we will use the basic example so I'm just copying this here we will specify the VPC ID and uh, I am just removing this uh, IPv6 section because we don't need that uh, section for our project so first we will change the name of uh, this resource I'm specifying this uh, as 
as uh, RT, which is route table. And here we will change the VPC ID as we created in the VPC section. And here we will change this. Here we will provide the gateway ID. So let me just grab the gateway ID. And so this is uh, our internet gateway resource and the name. So I will just copy this and uh, remove this. So this is our internet gateway ID that we created. And uh, as you can see here, and this is our uh, internet gateway id now move to a uh, subnet uh, association resource so here we will copy our example so you can pick uh, any one of the uh, resources so i will copy the first one here we will name this uh, routable association so uh, i give a uh, give it name as a uh, demo routable association so here we will provide our subnet id and uh, routable id so just uh, grab uh, those uh, id so this is our subnet id we specify the subnet id now we will uh, grab the route table id so this is our route table id so we will use this route table id here now it's time to move uh, to our last resource which is uh, security group now we will move to the next resource which is uh, security group so this is the example of a security group so we will just copy this ingress is uh, basically inbound rule and egress is uh, basically outbound rule so we will also specify these rules as uh, uh, we will allow the traffic so here first we will uh, give the name to our security group as is uh, stands for security group so here we will so here we will add the security group name description is uh, optional so we will remove this and uh, we will also remove this description because it's uh, optional so the vpc id uh, we will use our created vpc id so this is our vpc id let me add this vpc id here and uh, the traffic we will receive from and uh, to port we will change this to 22 port and the protocol is uh, tcp so here we will add this uh, CI. So here we will add uh, the CIDR block and uh, we will allow the traffic from anywhere. So we will add 0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. So it can be able to uh, so it can be able to catch traffic from anywhere. And uh, for IPv6 block, we will use this IPv block because we are allowing traffic from anywhere. So we will change this. So uh, we are almost done. Just we we will do some changes in our EC2 instance. So here we will add some uh, rules like uh, we will add a subnet ID. As you can see, I installed a Terraform uh, plugin. So as you can see, it's uh, auto completing this because I installed Terraform uh, plugin. So the subnet ID, we will, we will use this subnet ID. And here we will also specify the VPC security group. And uh, this security group will be the string so here we will specify our security group id so let me just grab the security group id so this is our security group id so we just uh so we also so we all almost done here now it's time to create vpc let me just open my terminal and uh, here we will initialize here we will initialize first here you can see it's in uh, initializing the backend that we created in our second video so it's uh, successfully initialized now we will use the terraform plan now we will use the terraform plan uh, command to see what we are going to create so here what we are going to create we are uh, creating salmon things zero to change or zero to destroy so let me see what we are going to create here you can see we are creating our instant and uh, we are creating internet gateway router table association security group and uh, also subnet last we are creating vpc so now it's time to launch our vpc so let me type terraform apply so if i go to my instance here you can see we don't have any running instance right now so let me just uh, assign the permission now if i just go back and uh, let me show you it's still in under process so it says uh, the range of uh, cidr is invalid so let me just change this now if i just uh, type let's see what uh, it will give us output so this is our mistake that we didn't name uh, and we didn't add the name of uh, the route table in tags so let me just try it once again so finally i created our vpc resources so basically uh, i was uh, doing the 
two mistake one mistake uh, was here like uh, i didn't add dot between the t2 micro and uh, and another uh, mistake uh, that i was uh, made here that uh, i was trying to uh, add uh, so the second mistake i was uh, creating here so now i just fixed everything so now you will never get any error so let's get uh, do further and now if i show you that we what we have created here you can see our instance is uh, running now and you can see here it's uh, running and if i just show you the vpc that we just created so here is the vpc that we just created and uh, it's available and uh, if i just show you the subnet so this is the subnet just uh, that just we created as you can see here also we created route table so this is our created route table internet gateway so this is our created one internet gateway so this is it for this video hope you guys are enjoying the terraform series so if you have any question please let me know in the uh, comment box and uh, we'll meet in the next video of terraform thank you